This is DJ High Speed Chicago back with another tutorial and I'm going to show you real quick how you can get a gang of music and how you can break it down and separate it into crates where you can play out of them and all your BPMs will be in an orderly fashion. And I'm going to show you how to do this real fast. So I'm in this folder. It's a clean music folder, all trap music. I'm going to hit command A for all. And I don't need that one folder. So if you want to unclick one folder, hold command and click out of that. And there you go. So I want to take all the rest of this music and I'm going to add it and make it a crate. So I'm going to drag all of it. See that? Drag, drag, drag. All 483 tracks. I'm going to drag them onto this crate and drop it there. Pow. Now you see that this is reading everything that just came from over here, reading the tags. So that means that it's copying the location that it came from and it's adding it in Serato. So when you refer to it, when you play it, this is where it's going to take it from. All right. And let's see, is it done? I think it's done. After the ball quit spinning. All right, here we go. Okay, so I just dumped all of this music up in here. You see how small this is bar on the side is that's how you know you got a lot of music so this is what i do first thing i do is i go by bpm bpm is the best way to separate the music before you begin playing it now you can play bpm but i separate it by bpm and the reason being is because i keep all the music in a separate folder for a quick reference if I want these songs who are around the same BPM to go together. I usually separate the crates by at least three BPM when I'm starting out with low numbers. So 42 through 45, that's a low number. And it's three BPM. So these all have around the same BPM that these all can be played together. So my system is I take three BPM apart, 42 through 45, and I'm in this crate. I'm gonna take it, and then we're gonna make a new, another crate. And then I'm gonna delete this, because I don't need it anymore, because it's right here. So that's my first crate. My next crate, I'm gonna do the same thing, three BPM. So this one will be 52 to 55 and I make that crate and I delete it and so on and so forth. 56 through 59, make that crate, delete that. So as I keep going and I get into higher BPMs, you'll see my BPM range begin to change, 60 to 63, okay? Then I delete that. 64 through 67 and then you see more music is starting to get transferred over as well 64 through 67 all right 68 through 71 now here's the thing when i get into the 70s after i first cross over into the 70s I usually jump up to four BPM range apart. So I would go from 72 to 76. Now I'm using the four BPM range because the count can actually fit in a little bit more music. When you get to around 70 and it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound crazy. So I add that, 76, all right. And then I'm gonna do four again so it's going to be 77 through 81, okay? Now, when I get into the 80s, I go up one more BPM range, and now I separate it by five. And now I'm going to go 82 through 87. And all I'm doing is holding the shift button and pushing the down button to highlight all this. Take it, drag it, drop it onto a new crate and you can delete you can hit command and delete and it'll go and again from here on out it's only going to be five 
I won't go up more if I go 6 BPM range, then it might be those songs that are on each end of the BPM range. And one's either going to be really, really slow, or the other one's going to be really, really fast, and it's going to sound crazy. So a 5 BPM range, you can probably stay within plus or minus 4 and still sound okay. Sometimes even minus 3 and not even sound crazy. All right. So again, 5 BPM. Five BPM range. I'm going to do 88 through 93 to this one. Drag and drop to a new crate. Delete it. 94 through what? 5. 99. All right. And as you see that I'm deleting this music, you see this bar is getting bigger and bigger because I'm getting rid of everything. And again, I'll keep going. 100 through 105. All right, drop that in there. Okay, 106 through 111. If there's no 111, keep it there anyway. All right, 112 through what? 117. All right, and this is when you're getting into your up tempo joints. All right, and now. Here is where you can pick and choose how you want to approach this when you get into the higher BPM range numbers because this right here, although it's 118, if you take half of that, that would be the equivalent to 59, which is up in here. So 59 and 118 are the same BPM. One is just double. So what I would do is that 59 crate, when I get into anything past like 117 or something like that, I would usually go back into the crate that has the double BPM equivalent. So this one has 59 in it. Crate 6 has all the 59s in it. 56 through 59. So I'll take anything from 56 through 59. So I can take both of these and I can put them in crate 6. And I can delete it. Because in crate 6 now, these songs have the exact same BPM because 59 is the equivalent to 118. And 119 is just probably a half of a BPM past that, but they still stay in the same range. So now again, now I'm back to my big list. And now I'm at a BPM of 120. Well, 120 is also double what? Double 60. So I can put all of this music with 120 into this crate, 7. That is 60 to 63. Now let me break that down even a little further. 60 to 63 in double digit form, if you double it, will turn into 120. And 63 double is 126. So I can technically take 120 to 126 and drop it in this crate 7 and get rid of that and you see now I have more music in here and they're still the same BPM 60 and 120 are the same 61 122 63 126 see how that works all right I'll go back up here and I'll keep going so this will be 128 if you cut that in half, that's 64, right? And this crate is in 3 BPM, 64 through 67. So I'm going to take everything from here that's double from 64 to 67. Double of 67 is 134. So I can take 128. And again, I can go to 135 because it's only a half of a BPM 
faster than everything else is. Once you get into 136, that's technically 68, and I'm not at 68 yet. So this crate, again, 64 through 67, which means that I have 128 to 135. I'll drag and drop that into 8, delete that. And now my 64 through 68 also has 128 up to 135 same dpm okay now you see this is the original crate that had everything in it and this is where we are right now so again now we're back over here this is 68 through 71 so 68 again is 136 71 would be the equivalent to 142 so we don't make it to 142 but we do have 136 through 139. And if we go in here, grade 9, 68 through 71, we can drag and drop those into here, get rid of that. And now, all of these are the same people. Okay? Now, you go back up in here, 150 is the equivalent to 75. And 160 is equivalent to a half. When I say equivalent, not equivalent. Double version. So I can go here in this crate where I made it 77 through 81. And that's a 4 BPM range. So I'm going to take what's left in here and drop it into crate 11 where it's 77 through 81 and since this is not 77 it shouldn't be here right because what this crate starts at 77 and this is technically 75 so i am going to take this out and put it in the crate above it that actually has the 75 bpm in it this one is 72 through 76. This is a 4 BPM range. So these are our 75s, and this is double 75. Same BPM. All right? And now we're back here, and now this crate is empty. So you no longer need it. You've broken that big crate down into all of these crates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 crates. Okay. And this is my system and this is the way I do it. So now you have this crate system whereas you can play anything that's in this crate because it's already divided by BPM. You don't have to set it by BPM. Everything in this crate should already go together if you continue to add things in this range. And the ranges that you break it down into for myself are for quick reference. So again, these crates, I've broken these down and I can go into any one of these and I can just go through them because everything in here is already approximately um, matched as far as close to being to another BP. And that way, I don't do BPM sets, which means that I don't start at this one BPM and just do the next song, next song, next song, next song, next song. No, definitely don't do that. I just like to have a range of music in the same BPM range where I can go through it and I can pick and choose based off the crowd. And I can pick and choose what I want to play. And again... And then after you're done breaking all of these crates down, um, what you can do is you can put them all together and you can make like a crate list. You can put crates on top of crates, but you have to make sure that you, when you go into settings and you go into library and display, you have to make sure that custom crate columns is checked. So make sure that you can do that so you can add crates on top of them. Otherwise, it's just going to be one big long list of single crates. So have that checked. And now you can take your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15 crates that you made. Then you take one empty one. Okay, this is empty. And this is where all of your crates are going to go. So you name this. And the way that you name it also is you have to make sure that the protect library is unchecked so that you can make changes to the music and to the crates. So let's say, for example, if you have this checked, you go in here and you won't be able to, I'm double tapping this, you won't be able to make any changes. So you go in here and you uncheck protect library. And I'll go and double click this and now I can call it clean music. Type in clean music, hit enter. All right, and I usually like to take this to the top of the crates that I'm about to add to them. And basically, you're just going to take all the crates and add them onto this one clean music crate. So you would take this, and you see where the little line is. The line jumps up and down. Make sure that the line is below the crate folder that you want to add it to. And you see how now that's in clean music. So if I go up in clean music and I hit the left arrow, it will kind of like collapse it. And if I hit the right arrow, it will open it up. So collapse and open it up. So that means that this crate 4 is in here. And I will do the same with these crates. Only difference is when you're adding a crate onto another crate, if you get too close to the edge, you'll see how the entire box lights up. And that will make it a crate by itself. You have to drag it onto the crate that you're adding to in order to get the right, in order to get it to drop in the right place. Now, I dropped it at the top, but that's not where I want it to be because all of these crates are in order. So I want everything to go in order. So crate five most must go under crate four. Crate 5 must go under Crate 4. So, I'm going to drag this again. And notice how you can go right to the side. And you can go up and down and choose where you want to put the crate. So, I want to put it under 4. So, I'm going to put it right there. Okay? So, now it's in order. It's 42 through 43. I'm sorry, 42 through 45. And this is my 52 through 55. Now this will be next. So I want to put this one in here. So what I'll do is instead of taking it all the way to the top, I'm going to go right next to the lines and put it right under where the next one should go. So it should go under 5. So instead of going under 4, I go under 5. And I let it go. Then I take the next one and I'll drag it up and I'll put it under 6 and so on and so forth until you have everything added in here and basically what you're doing is creating a crate folder like you would in itunes and having all of the music together in this one folder that you can jump through depending on the music that's already playing depending on your bpm you can jump right in so now all of these crates are now in this clean music. If I hit the left arrow while I'm highlighted on the clean music, it'll collapse it. And if I hit right button, it'll open it all back up. And now you have an entire clean crate of music broken down by BPM that you can use in any of your sets depending on where you are and what mood you want to go with. And you can even go a step further and you can name these individual crates something. If it's, it's clean music, I like to take the letters and just do that's clean music. This would be clean music one. And this would be clean music two and clean music three and so forth. All right, this is DJ High Speed Chicago. Stay tuned, got more videos coming soon.